Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week it is all about the bling. We're going to take this photo here of our model and we're going to add a little bit of bling onto her top here. Um, it's all about that diamond glittery crystal look. So as usual everybody, let's get started. And the first thing that I'm going to do today is we're going to use the pen tool. Oh, we're going to no. come over here to our toolbar and we're going to pick the pen tool and we're going to make sure that we are on smart mode up here on the mode. We want smart mode, so we're going to click smart mode. Okay, we don't have to click anything else at this stage. We want the best selection that we can get. So what we're going to do is zoom right in using our command and plus key as much as we can. Then I'm going to hit my space bar just so I can move that up. And we're going to start right up here in the corner and we're going to start on this side. So using our pen tool with our smart mode turned on, we're just going to go around and get the best selection we can as close to the edge on this strap that we can. You can also see a little bit of shadow around here on the top. We want to try and keep that shadow if we can. And I'm just making quite small uh, clicks in between these nodes here just to keep it really close. I find I get a better selection that way and it sort of follows the edge a little bit better. So try to keep as close to the edge as you can. You can even zoom in even more if you like. What I'm going to do now is going to speed this up because I know that you don't want to watch me do this whole selection. So we'll speed it up and we'll come back just towards the end. And as you can see guys, we're getting towards the end here and we're just about to close this up. So I'm just going to go and close that up. So once you've got your selection and you're happy, if you want to adjust any of the nodes along here, we can come back to our pen tool and come to our node tool and we can just, just adjust those slightly if we want to along here. If we think that we you know, have made a mistake and need it to get a little bit closer, we can just adjust it a little bit. Um, once we're happy though, we can come back to our pen tool and we can hit our selection. Just zoom out a little bit with command minus just so we can see that selection there a little bit more. There we go, we've got our selection. But I am going to come over here to our selection brush tool. I'm just going to click on that so I can get to this refine box up here because I want to click on refine and I want to add one pixel smooth and one feather. And I also want to come to the output selection box down here. I want a new layer with mask. So that's really important. We want to click on that and then we want to hit apply. Put that top on a layer all by itself. You can see we've got the background over here under check so we're just going to check that back again and we're just going to open up this little layer here so we can see the mask underneath as well okay so the next thing we're going to do is come over here to our diamond type glitter background and by the way you'll find that the link to both of these images below if you want to use the same images that I have um, but we're going to come over to this image we're going to go command C on our keyboard back to our image of our model and we're going to go Command V. So we'll just make that a little bit smaller again. We'll come up here to our Move tool and we just want to turn that around. So I'm going to hold the Shift key so when I turn it around, it'll snap into place. And I'm just going to move that right over the top to our image here. I'm just going to click on this layer here and we're going to clip it to the mask. So we're going to drag this layer down till we clip it to the mask here and just see what happens once I let go here. There we go. It's clipped it to the mask and it's added that background to the top. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come up here to the Blend mode. Mode. And this is where you can play around a little bit with the blend mode. But I think I'm going to come down to hard light at this stage because as you can see it still puts the lines of her top back in and looks pretty good. You can play around with the blend modes and see if there's another one that you like better. But I'm going to choose the hard light today. I'm also going to drop the opacity just a tiny bit. Probably to, uh, we'll go to 80. And there's one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add a curves adjustment. So I'm going to come down here to the curves. So I've got my curves layer, but I only want to, to affect this top, the glitter top here. So I'm just going to drag it onto the top and up in the corner here, up in the right hand corner, I'm just going to drag that across to give it a little bit more sparkle. Um, that looks good. Okay, so there we have it, everyone. We've added a bit of bling to this top here. So we've gone from this top here 
to this top here, adding a little bit of bling. If I zoom in, you can still see that we've kept the shadow around the top. If you wanted to add some more shadow, you could do that by adding a new pixel layer. We could go to our brush and we could drop the opacity to about 10 and the flow to about 40. We could paint in black and we could add a bit more shadow around here if we wanted to make it look a little bit more authentic we could add a gaussian blur and i'll take that right up to about 11 pixels and just close that and reduce that again a little bit so there we go we've added that little bit of shadow underneath there just to make it look a little bit more realistic we've added a bit of bling with that crystal diamond sparkly effect so i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial this week everybody if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing Subscribing, and I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.